In a significant development for Poland's military modernization, recent reports have unveiled the possibility of the country's Homark Multiple Launch Rocket System (MLRS) being equipped with the advanced CTM-290 tactical strike missile pods. This potential upgrade could significantly boost Poland's long-range strike capabilities, marking a strategic shift in its defense strategy and reinforcing its role within NATO. The Homar K is a Polish adaptation of the K-239 Chunmu, a state-of-the-art mobile rocket artillery system developed by South Korea's Hanwha Aerospace, comparable to the US M-142 HIMARS, which is already in service with Poland's armed forces. The Homar K is capable of launching a range of precision-guided munitions, including the American-made Atakms ballistic missiles. If the CTM-290, a South Korean-made missile, is successfully integrated into this system, it could replace the Atakms, providing Poland with a new and highly advanced alternative for tactical strikes. The CTM-290 is a cutting-edge missile system developed by Hanwha Aerospace. With a range believed to be comparable to or even greater than that of the Atakams, the CTM-290 has the potential to extend Poland's reach, allowing for precision strikes against both stationary and moving targets up to 300 kilometers away. The missile is equipped with an advanced inertial guidance system, which is supplemented by satellite navigation. This combination ensures exceptional accuracy even in adverse weather conditions or when GPS signals are jammed, making the missile highly reliable for precision attacks. One of the standout features of the CTM-290 is its versatility. The missile can be configured with different types of warheads, such as fragmentation warheads designed for anti-personnel missions, or bunker-busting warheads intended to penetrate hardened targets. This adaptability means that Poland would gain not only enhanced strike capabilities, but also a broader range of tactical options, from countering enemy infantry to neutralizing fortified positions. The integration of the CTM-290 missile into the Homar K system represents a strategic diversification of Poland's military assets. Traditionally reliant on U.S.-supplied weapons, such as the Atakams, Poland's defense strategy has focused heavily on American systems. However, this shift to South Korean technology signifies a move toward reducing dependence on the U.S. and broadening the country's defense options. By adapting the Homar K MLRS to accommodate both American and South Korean missile systems, Poland would gain increased operational flexibility and the ability to choose from a wider array of strike platforms. This shift is also aligned with Poland's broader military modernization efforts, which aim to strengthen its defense capabilities and reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. In October 2022, Poland signed a contract with Hanwha Aerospace for the acquisition of 218 K-239 Chunmu rocket artillery systems, which will be modified to meet Polish specifications as the Homar K. Alongside the missile systems, this deal includes technology transfers and potential co-production agreements, allowing Poland to enhance its domestic defense industry and maintain greater control over its military assets. The growing defense cooperation between Poland and South Korea, has been a defining feature of this new phase in Poland's defense strategy. The potential integration of the CTM-290 into the Homar K system would be a significant step forward in this partnership. Not only would it showcase South Korea's advanced military technology, but it would also strengthen the bilateral ties between the two nations. For South Korea, this deal represents an opportunity to expand its influence in Europe and demonstrate the reliability of its defense technologies in a global context. For Poland, this integration is an essential part of reinforcing its security within Europe, particularly as geopolitical tensions rise in the wake of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. By diversifying its missile inventory, Poland not only reduces its reliance on traditional suppliers, but also strengthens its position as a key player in European defense. Poland's potential acquisition of the CTM-290 missile could set a precedent for other European nations looking to diversify their defense sources. In an increasingly unstable geopolitical environment, European countries may seek to broaden their military partnerships and acquire alternative strike systems to ensure their security. By exploring new suppliers like South Korea, nations within the European Union and NATO could reduce their dependence on the US while enhancing their military capabilities. Poland's potential upgrade to the Homar K system is a clear demonstration of how modern military systems can evolve to meet the needs of contemporary defense strategies. Equipped with advanced missiles like the CTM-290, the Homar K could become one of the most formidable rocket artillery systems in Europe. With its long-range precision capabilities and versatile warhead configurations, it would provide Poland with a powerful tool for both conventional and asymmetric warfare. If the integration of the CTM-290 missile into the Homar K system is realized, 
it would not only enhance Poland's military capabilities but also mark a turning point in its defense strategy. With the potential to field both South Korean and American missile systems, Poland would solidify its defense posture and strengthen its position within NATO. This move could also influence other European countries to reconsider their defense supply chains and explore new avenues for enhancing their military arsenals. By aligning itself more closely with South Korea's defense technologies, Poland is positioning itself for a future where it has greater autonomy and flexibility in its defense capabilities. Through this strategic shift, Poland not only boosts its military readiness but also exemplifies the evolving nature of international defense partnerships in an increasingly multipolar world.